Hi everyone, welcome to the Mobile Bev Pros Podcast, the best place on the internet to get valuable advice and information related to owning and running a successful mobile bar business. I'm your host, Sarah Murphy, and some of you may know me as the founder and community organizer of the Mobile Bev Pros Facebook group or our corresponding membership site, mobilebevpros.com. I'm also the owner and operator of my own mobile bar company, Bar Magnolia, out of Nashville, Tennessee. Since starting the membership group two years ago, we have seen a dramatic increase in the number of mobile bar owners seeking community and support, and we've been feverishly trying to keep up with the growing demand for information and resources to support those mobile bar owners. This podcast is the newest manner in which we hope to get our community the valuable information they seek. But before we get started, I want to make a shameless plug for our newly launched online membership site and resource hub, mobilebevpros.com. The site was created to be a next-level companion site to our Facebook group. It's where we share dozens of templates, worksheets, guides, and videos, all directly related to the most common questions mobile bar owners have. Its purpose is to help mobile bar owners skip the learn-as-they-go, trial-and-error manner of running a small business and get right to the information that has proven to work for the seven mentors running hugely successful mobile bar companies around the world. It also offers direct access to those mentors within the membership site, monthly live Q&A sessions, and even a business book club that has dramatically changed the way some of our members, including myself, are doing business and the profits that we're making doing it. And that's just the beginning of what's to come. If you haven't checked out the membership site yet, I highly recommend it. But even if you're not ready to invest in that next level support, If you're thinking about starting a mobile bar or have already launched a mobile bar but would love to connect with other like-minded booze slingers, we would love to have you join us in our Facebook group. I'll include a link to our two membership groups in the show notes. Now let's do this. Today I'm asking a question that I think every mobile bar owner needs to be able to answer yes to, and I'm not sure many can. That question is, do you know your ideal client? Like, do you really know them? Could you point them out on the street or hone in on them in a networking event? Some experts recommend that you should create a client persona or even two. Give them names, education levels, income brackets, hobbies, etc. It's actually a really good way of forming a visualization around who your ideal client is. It enables you to think about where they shop, where they hang out, what kinds of parties they attend, what they drink. This is all really important stuff to a mobile bar. Knowing this information will help you not only build out your offerings, but it'll help you market to them, connect with them, price your packages accordingly. To really dig deep on this overarching question, I have five sub questions that I invite you to ask yourself about your ideal client. So grab a piece of paper and a pen, but you're going to want to get real and get real specific with these questions. And this doesn't just apply to the new and launching mobile bars. This applies to all mobile bars. Industries change. Client needs change. Trends and fads change. So if you were successful catering to one set of clients at one point, that point being right now even, if you're not checking back on these questions regularly, you might find yourself wondering what happened to all the leads sometime down the road. The very first question I want you to ask yourself What are the main pain points of your ideal client? This falls along the same line as what problem are you trying to solve that most entrepreneurs are told to ask themselves when they first start out. But it's an important question. It's important to know what problems your ideal client is having if you're going to be able to solve it. Are they unable to find a unique bar elsewhere in your market? Are there no other bar companies offering fresh ingredients in their cocktails? Do other bar companies in the market that you're in not offer experienced bartenders with their bar packages? What makes the alternatives to your company in your market lousy substitutes for you? And I don't mean that in a negative way. They may not actually be lousy at all, but the goal would be to communicate to your ideal client that you are the best option for fulfilling their needs. Always knowing and aligning with the pain points of your ideal clients will enable you to continue to grow and shift as the market does the same. Question number two. What makes them pull the trigger? What makes them book? Depending on your ideal client, this could be different. Maybe it's the uniqueness that your bar offers. Maybe it's your price point. 
Maybe it's the overall client experience that you offer as opposed to that of your competitors. Maybe it's that you have more five-star reviews online or that the wedding coordinator they're using recommended you, even though you're more expensive than the alternatives. Knowing what makes your ideal client pull the trigger is really important if you're going to capitalize on what it is that makes them pull that trigger. Question number three, what questions does your ideal customer usually have about your services? What do they need to know about you and how you work? What are the questions people are asking when you get them on the phone or when you meet them at a wedding show? Figure out what these common questions are and meet them where they're at. Put the info on your website, make them into social media posts or videos, make it easy for them to get to the information they need and want. Also, knowing their questions can help you build out your packages and offerings to suit them. For example, I used to get asked all the time what mixers were included in our mixer package. So I listed them on our proposal and our website. I don't get that question anymore. Question number four, what is your ideal client willing to pay? Obviously, there's a variety of answers to this question, and it really will depend on the individual client. Mobile bars will never be able to compete with the rent-a-bartender model where bartenders are working for $30 an hour, and that's okay. There are events that need that $30 bartender, but those events likely aren't expecting the mobile bar and all of the concierge-level services that many of us offer in our rates. If, however, your ideal client is the low-budget party host, then you need to get real about what you can offer and still make a profit. I'm not here to tell everyone to aim high because everyone over 21 is entitled to a bar service at their events. However, most of us are in that mid to high range and knowing what that host is willing to pay is super important. Where's the limit to what they'll pay and what do they see value in? If you're out there selling garden to glass and fresh juices squeezed by unicorns, you need to know they'll pay for it. Will they sign on the dotted line at your rate or will they go with the mobile bar down the street who's offering only $100 less than what you offered, even though they're slinging drinks with bottled juices and lifeless garnishes. Because if the answer is yes, then what you're selling is not important to them. Honing in on what your ideal client finds valuable will change your business. And lastly, question number five, what is truly important to your ideal client? Are they looking at you because it's important to them to have a unique bar trailer, such as a camper or a horse trailer? Are they looking to you because service is important? because they don't want their guests to wait in line for a subpar beverage? Is experience important to them because they want a bar service that's already worked out the kinks on a hundred previous events? Whatever is important to them and that you have, you need to focus on highlighting all of your marketing materials, all of your social media, your website, all of it. In quick review, the questions we're focusing on today are number one, what are the pain points of your ideal client? Number two, What makes your ideal client pull the trigger? Number three, what questions does your ideal client usually have? Number four, what is your ideal client willing to spend? And finally, number five, what is truly important to your ideal client? All right, guys, that's it for me today. Make sure you head over and join us on either our Facebook group, Mobile Bev Pros, or our membership site, mobilebevpros.com. Our membership site offers mobile bar owners looking for the next level of support, access to videos, templates, guides, free live webinars, and more. If you decide to join us at neither of those two places, I do hope you'll join me here again next week for another installment of our Mobile Bev Pros podcast. 